our own dancing veteran Cameron Matheson knows exactly what the finalists are going through and he got an exclusive sneak peek at the final rehearsals. Good morning, Cam. Good morning, Robin. That's right, the three surviving couples. Tonight will perform two dances, their freestyle dance and their redemption dance. And only Good Morning America was allowed into the ballroom to watch their very nerve-wracking final rehearsals. Now, all three of the couples admitted to me that they can't say with confidence that they're going to be the ones to take home the Mirrorball Trophy Tuesday night. First, second, or third, we'll be smiling regardless. We've already won for us. Making it to this far has been really great. Yeah. For me, I feel like I've already won. I think we have a fair shot at it. We have a, at least a one in three chance of winning. Yeah. Kyle Massey and Lacey Schwimmer hope to redeem themselves dancing the Foxtrot. Judges decided they didn't perform so well weeks ago, so tonight, their redemption dance. For Jennifer Gray and Derek Huff, the Paso Doble. Remember when Bristol Palin and Mark Ballas danced the jive wearing gorilla suits? Well, they hope to redeem themselves tonight without the suits. But continuing controversy over Bristol's survival and, and whether viewer votes from her mom's political supporters are a big reason. I don't really let the criticism or anything like that get to me, but it is a little bit of a sting just because we do deserve to be here. It's been a pretty outrageous week. A man shot his television set. There was an envelope sent to the studio addressed to you with you know, this mysterious white powder turned out to be harmless. You made the cover of the LA Times. Is, is it ever surprising to you, all this, over a dance show? This is how I look at it. Like, we're in our 11th season, and whenever we have people on the show, like Nicole Scherzinger, Christy Yamaguchi, Mel B, you know, people like that, people are complaining, oh, it's an outrage, she has dance experience. I want to see someone with zero experience. And you're getting someone with zero dance experience, and now it's, oh, it's an outrage, she shouldn't be in the finals, she, she doesn't know how to dance. It's like, either way you look at it, you can't win. The couples get their rankings from a complicated calculation. It's a percentage of the judges' total votes, but that's just half their ranking. The other half is a percentage of viewers' votes for each couple. Add up all the percentages, and that's a couple's final rank. The bottom line is that more viewers have been voting for Bristol, but in past seasons, celebrities who haven't been that strong as dancers have made it to the finals based on fan base, personality, all those things. So if you were to take the political component out of this, which I know is difficult, then you'd see parallels with other seasons that people are a bit blinded to right now, I think. People talk about Bristol's support from her moms, but you, your mom, has got her own campaign going, right? <laughs> right? Both our moms, really. Yeah, I think both of our moms. Her mom is bribing... <laughs> <laughs> you know, we definitely need to hear this now. <laughs> After that. Her mom, her mom makes cookies. <laughs> Her mom makes huh? cookies. And okay. No, so, they're magic cookies. You yeah. have no idea. It they're is, magic cookies. No, they, magic they really cookies. are. They make everyone vote. The couples are well aware, though try to avoid, reading non-stop internet rumors and bloggers' opinions about their performances. Nothing was bad about you, babe. Nothing was bad. I don't want to die. Nothing was bad. I would have been living in my own fantasy world. <laughs> Good luck, guys. Thank you, guys. All right, you guys are awesome. All right, oh, off you go. Because I can't walk. Let's go. I asked the surviving couples if they have any survivor's guilt for still being there. A lot of very good dancers have been sent home already, and they all said no. They all feel like they really deserve to be there in the finals. Of course, they miss their fellow competitors, but they deserve to be there, final three. Now, after tonight's Dancing with the Stars, the live premiere of Skating with the Stars is tonight, including my co-star from All My Children, Re Rebecca Budig, who's gonna be skating, who looks fantastic, by the way. Also, Bethany Frankel, Johnny Mosley, Sean Young, Vince Neal, Brandon Michael Smith will all be skating. You think falling on the dance floor hurts? <laughs> Wait till you see falling on ice. We're kicking it up a right, notch. Right, Robin? Uh, yeah, yeah, I would I say so. so. I, I like survivor's guilt. You tried to go there. Hey, I don't blame them. Hey, they're there. They deserve it. Go That's for right. it. That's right. Let's see what happens. They did. They worked very, very hard. As did you when you were there, Cam. Thanks. We're oh, going to see you soon. Thanks.